Finally, it's happening in one piece, after 1079 chapters and 25 years of wait. We finally going to see Shanks in fight. In this chapter, he just demonstrated the most impressive feat so far shown in one piece, so that most of us might be wondering he's is really the goat when it's come to hacking. Now let's break down the chapter and find out more about this chapter. But before that you can also help me achieve even great feat by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Otherwise red hair shanks will not show any mercy. Let's begin with the title of chapter that is the Emperor Red-Haired Pirates. The cover page of One Piece chapter 1079 features our classic Luffy watering lion mistaking the lion for sunflower. So Germa cover story came to end and we're back to fan request. Most interesting fact about this fan request is that Oda Sensei sometimes drops certain hints related to story. So there is one as you look closely. There is one son in this cover story that's Big Mom's Prometheus. This could be hinting that former Yonko Big Mom is still alive. Or this cover story is related Luffy-like. Luffy's favorite flower is Sunflower. And it's kind related to his son god Nika Form. Back to chapter, we get to see what was going on Egghead couple of hour back. York is speaking to the Seraphims about her plan and problems she is facing right now. According to York, the world government does not only want to erase Stella but all the Vegapunks as well. York is not worried about other Vegapunks, she is only concerned about her own safety. So she come up with a plan to counter this. She ordered all the Seraphims to kill everyone, except her, Stella and the hostage Cypher Paul agents. Each of the Seraphim understood the order. York knew this will happen, if Seraphims will again go on rampage, then others will look for the traitor. York knew that she is not strong enough to fight them, if they find out that it was all York doing. So she gave specific order to S. Snake, to turn her into stone in front of other. So, no one will suspect that she is the traitor, and then later undo her when no one is looking. It's look kind cute how S. Snake responded York orders, she just said okay and gave a thumbs up. York also goes on to tell them one more thing before they go. She told which places inside the laboratory they must not destroy. After that Seraphims departed to execute the mission. Back in the present, Egghead inhabitants are boarding ships in hopes of escaping the island. Seriously speaking Egghead is combination of all arc. There was only one thing missing in this arc, involvement of Blackbeard pirates. There is a ship with Blackbeard flag on it, approaching Egghead. Does this mean Blackbeard pirates and Hearts pirates match ended? Which could well mean that Blackbeard pirates ended up beating the Heart pirates. Or Heart pirates might have escaped. After the fight Blackbeard might have got the information of ongoing event of Egghead from someone. That's why he headed to Egghead. There can be possibility that Pudding and Kobe might be on Blackbeard's ship. Then we might see Garp 2 coming to Egghead. But I don't think this going to happen. This arc is pretty much similar to O'Hara 2.0 then it could be possible that Kuzan and Van Auger is here instead of whole Blackbeard crew. This will set up to be an insane battlefield. Even bigger than the Marine Ford and God Valley incident. But there is another big fight going on somewhere else on Elbaf. Kid and his crew are confronted by some unknown pirates who served under their chief red-haired Shanks. Here we get to see Shanks' grand fleet for the first time. Padded Toe Giratini captain of the Puddle Pirates. His appearance is like that of a Kawamatsu, making him a fishman. He's saying that kid pirates we won't let you see a glimpse of Shanks. Then there is a captain of social club, Dentures Fugger whose dentures falling out of mouth. Then we have princess of bourgeoisie pirates, Panicky Pururu. She kind look like Tatantata. Kid sees these guys as a joke and question we're still in the new world. These guys seem too weak to survive in the new world. Then Killer tell Kid that there are actually some famous faces among them. So we should not let our guard down we are dealing with red hair pirates after all. But Kid is not going to hold back. Shanks then instruct his forces to clear their ships out of the way he didn't want anyone from his side get hurt. But some of them got shocked to hear for his departure, as they wanted to hang out longer. They are hugging Shanks and cling on to him which kind look like make him annoyed. This look how much popular he is and how much they love to Shanks. This is why we also love Shanks so much. He helped weaker pirates out in New World so that they can survive underneath his flag. This is why Luffy admire him, and we saw Luffy also done the same in past. Shanks says it was just a short stay but he stayed for too long and look this hot shot ran into him. He repeats his word now make way and get your ships out of the way. Shanks when he was going to his ship. The members of his fleet begin to laugh at how famously weak they are. It thanks to you that we have survived and protected by your flags. That allowed them to live as they do. Again, Shanks proves himself to be quite the fan of charity, even joking with his comrades as he does so. When Shanks got onto the ship, Lucky Roo tells him boss will take care of this problem. Then Shanks responded don't take those youngsters lightly. He is after all three billion bounty. 
Shanks asked Yasop if Kid's wounds from Wano had already healed, and Yasop replied that Kid appeared to be in good health. If that the case then fine. Her Shanks want to have an honorable fight with Kid. Shanks then asks Hango if there's any new intel about Blackbeard. Hango replies that they only know Blackbeard left Hachinasu, but nothing else. Shanks says I thought Blackbeard would show up at Wano, but he didn't appear. So finally got the reason why Shanks went to Wano. He just wanted to stop Blackbeard. Hango then tossed some intel on Kid. Shanks got to know that he is from South Blue and he's quite the troublemaker. And we know Kid got a worse reputation than Luffy and Law when they meet on Sabayati Archipelago. Kid and Killer are taking a stock of just how many ships they are facing now. Kid didn't care about all this. He was prepared to take them all down at once, using the power of his awakened devil fruit. He then prepared to fire his damned punk which was able to damage former Yonko Big Mom. As he raises his weaponry the ships began to pull towards due to the overwhelming magnetism. Then Shanks notices look very serious and worried. Then he immediately started rushing into action and said to Fleet to spread out. He then tells Dory and Brogy to give a hand. Here we get to seize a glimpse of the future Shanks off from his observation hack. It's look quite a mess kid would have caused. Shanks call it severe. Then Ben Beckman says boss you have see a pretty bad future. Shanks then jumps all the way to kid's ship, which make kid surprised. Then Shanks use a technique of his former Captain Divine Departure, the same move which sent Kazuki Odin flying and fused with Conqueror Haki. This insane attack looked like a massive explosion. This overwhelming Haki burst knocked out most of the kid's crew. Kid and Killer also got immobilized after the attack. Kid and Killer have been defeated together in one attack. This makes Shanks has immense power, but it kind feel bad for Kid. He's is the same person who fought Kaido and Big Mom with other worst generation member but taken down by single hit. This show how much power gap is. Heat and Wire are begging Shanks not to kill their captain instead, take this road Pongliff and have mercy on us. If you look closely Kid has three road Pongliff. Then Dory and Brogy used a attack to destroy Punk Victory completely. Kid Pirates started drowning into water. This is the same ship Kid named after dead childhood crush. Seriously Kid got down by only single attack. Is this the fall of Kid Pirates? Or Kid Pirates will raise again? Surely we'll see Kid in the future. He might train even harder to reach Yonko's level. Guys that's all from my side see you guys in next video.